Hello and welcome to another session of Java today. In today's session, we are going to learn about Java primitive data types. Primitive types in Java include integer types, floating point numbers, UTF-16 code units, and a boolean type. There are no unsigned types in the Java except char type, which is used to represent UTF-16 code units. The lack of unsigned types is offset by introducing unsigned right shift operation, which is not present in C++. These are the Java primitive data types. A primitive type is predefined by the language and it is a reserved keyword. There are eight primitive data types supported by the Java language. They are here. Byte. The byte data type is 8-bit signed to complement integer and it has a default value of 0. Short. A short data type is 16-bit signed to complement integer. Integer. The integer data type is 32-bit signed to complement integer. Integers can hold integers only, not like double, which can hold integers. Double. The double data type is for holding decimal values. Example, 2.6 or 10.8 or 12. Even 12 is valid as 12 is nothing but 12.0 long the long data type is 64 bit to complement integer use this data type when you need a range of values wider than those provided by the int float the float data type is a single precision 32 bit ieee 754 floating point as with the recommendations for byte and short use float instead of double this saves memory boolean the boolean data type has only two possible values true and false use this data type for simple flags that track true false conditions this data type represents one bit of information cap the cat data type is single 16 bit unicode character that holds single character example single letter number or symbol for example, boy in single quotes is a character, so is one and dollar symbol. Character value is enclosed in single quotes. This is the difference between character and string. Watch single quotes for the char value. This is the difference from strings, which must have double quotes. In addition to the eight primitive data types listed above, the Java language also provides support for the strings via java.lang.string class. Use double quotes to convert a character string to a new string object. This is character array with characters C, B, T, U. We are converting this into a string with new string instance, passing this character array. This is nothing but defining a string like this. Thanks for watching.